video we will view formulas as functions and the possible example would be this formula p times v equals m times r times t by the way this is, this is a formula from physics it's um, known as the equation to describe gases so p stands for the pressure v is the volume m is uh, the amount of uh, the gap of the gas r is a constant and t is the temperature and the task could not be that you should write down p of t and state the function type so the first that you should um, be aware of is what this notation p of t actually means this is really important um, because this tells you what to do so first thing the function is called p so the p in the formula will be the one that you should calculate so you will have to rearrange the formula to have p as a subject of it and the t which is inside the brackets it plays the role of a variable okay so let's start the first thing is as we said that we have to rearrange the formula um, in a way that p is the new subject so um, we will divide by v and we will end up with p equals n times r times t divided by v so this is the first um, element um, that you rearrange the formula in a way that this letter is the new subject and well that's it because the formula equation is just this but you just add the t in brackets because this tells you which of these is meant to be the variable so m times r times t divided by v so this would be the first part of the solution for the second part of the solution for the function type we have to view this a bit closer so we said that t is the variable in this in this construction so t is the variable obviously it's here and as you know from um, discussing the different function types any letter that occurs in a in a formula in a uh, function and which is not the variable is called a parameter so these are parameters and if we are asked to find the function type we can view these parameters as being fixed numbers so this n times r divided by v this is just um, some numbers so you multiply some numbers and divide it by another number so all of this green stuff is just any some number you don't really know what number but you don't have to know it because you can completely ignore um, the exact value of it it's only important to know that it will be one number so what can you tell about the fa about um, the function now you can tell that it's gonna be something that's the green one times t that's the yellow one so something times the variable and now you should go through the function types that you know and try to think whether there is one that has um, something so some constant multiplied by the variable 
So this will be a parameter, this will be a constant, and this will be the variable. So if you want to think about uh, in, in terms of f of x, then the f of x should be something times the variable x. Well, um, there is actually a function type that does this. Um, maybe you remember that there is a function type f of x equals m times x plus c. This is the equation of a linear function. Um, and the, obviously in this case there is no plus c, so the z, c will be 0. So um, if you want to answer the question um, what is the function type, then you could say that it's a linear function with, well, a linear function has a slope, the slope m is in this case whatever is in this black box, the black box was um, this green bubble so it was just n r over v and um, the c, so the y-intercept, is 0. So this is the answer to the original question. Uh, what function type is it? It is a linear function with m equals n times r divided by v and c equals 0. Let's do another example. Another formula that you probably know from physics, E equals M times C squared. So this, this is energy equals mass times the square of the, uh, the speed of light. And um, you, could, you may want to know the, the function type E of C. And well, in this case, you don't have, even have to um, rearrange the formula because it's already E of C equals M times C squared. And um, now you have to think that the C is the variable. Right? This is the variable. And everything else will be parameters. And if you compare it to function types that you know, then you could find out that E of Z is a quadratic function. Because the variable is squared. If, on the other hand, you would be asked to state E of M that's also possible. You don't have to rearrange anything, it's just the same, m times c squared, but this time it's the other way around with variable and parameter, so this time the m is the variable, and this one is a parameter, and you are only asked to um, find the function type of the variable. There is no square here, so it's the same as we had before. So this is this, the same as we had here. So it's another linear function. You could also be asked to state, for instance, C of E. Well, how to do that? You would have to rearrange the formula in order to have C as the new subject. So you would divide by M. E over M equals C squared. Now take the square root and you would end up with the square root of E over M equals C. So C of E is the square root of E over M and 
if you want to know the function type then you have to identify the variable this one is the variable and the variable is under under a square root but it's not in the denominator of a, of a fraction so uh, the function type is just a simple uh, square root function well as you can see one formula contains a lot of different function types um, depending on um, which variable you want to have for the subject and which variable you want to have as an actual variable for the function um, which is in this pair of brackets.